हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सिक्स लेक्चर ऑफ अवर यूनिट नंबर टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल सिक्योरिटी नो दिस विल बी द लास्ट लेक्चर ऑफ यूनिट नंबर टू माय सेल्फ निकुल जयसवाल लेक्चरर इन कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग श्री केजे पॉलिटेक्निक भरूच सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस द पासवर्ड मैनेजमेंट द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस यूनिट यूनिट नंबर टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल सिक्योरिटी so let's have a quick recap of our previous lecture so in the previous lecture we have discussed the biometrics and we have seen the type of bi biometrics so we have basically two uh, types of biometric systems first is physiological biometric system that relies on the physical characteristics of a user and second is the uh, behavioral uh, biometric uh, system so that will be rely on the behavior of particular user or person and after that we have discussed some of the major advantages and disadvantages of biometrics now in today's lecture we will discuss password vulnerabilities so weaknesses in the password that are present then we will discuss the password protection strategies and after that we will discuss the password selection strategies and uh, at the last we will discuss how to choose a good password so let's start with our first topic that is password vulnerabilities so vulnerabilities we have already discussed the meaning of vulnerabilities that is the weakness so weakness in the password can be arised in two uh, uh, in two methods or we can say uh, in the two situations so the first is organizational or end user vulnerability so these are the weakness that has been uh, that has been uh, managed by the end user or organization so when user uh, chooses certain password then weakness in the password will be present so first is weak and easy to guess so if the user chooses the weak password and if it is easy to guess then that password will be vulnerable to certain attacks then second is rarely changed if the user rarely change its password then it will be a vulnerable password then reuse for many security points so if you have uh, uh, many user id and uh, many authentication mechanism other than one then most of the user choose the single password for all the security mechanisms so that will be a consider as a vulnerability and the last is written down in some non secure place if the user or the person written down the password in non secure place then it will be vulnerable to certain attacks so these are the situation in where the end user vulnerability will be called next is technical vulnerability so this will be the technical weakness of the password so first is weak password encryption scheme uh, most of the passwords are encrypted so uh, no system will store the password in plain text all the password will be encrypted and it will be stored in disk so if we use the weak password encryption scheme then that password must uh, will be vulnerable second software that store password in memory and easily accessed database so uh, many of the so software store the password in main memory that is our ram and if the password is uh, stored in them then it will be very easily accessed so this type of situation may not be arise if this type of situation arise then it will be called as a technical weakness then last is end user application that display password on the screen while typing so some of the application uh, the developer uh, unintentionally the application will display the password on the screen so that type of application should not be Uh, present so that type of vulnerability will be called as a technical vulnerability so application should not display the password while typing on the screen so these are the uh, uh, password vulnerabilities so there are two types of vulnerabilities end user vulnerability for that vulnerability the end user will be responsible and technical vulnerability for that vulnerability the technical aspects will be responsible next is the password protection strategy so we can protect the password in four ways so the first is user education so we provide the training particular training to the user that we have already discussed in the security awareness trainings so uh, many of the organization uh, many of the organization conduct the training program for the users to educate them regarding the passwords and how to secure their password 
next is computer generated password many of the system uses the computer generated password so in this uh, scenario computer automatically generate the password and that password will be used by the user but the problem with this system is computer generates random passwords and that random password will be very difficult for the users to remember so many of the secure system uses the computer generated password to protect the passwords <coughs> Next is reactive password checking. So in the reactive password checking, the password and the authentication mechanism will, will periodically check for the weakness in the passwords. So if any user chooses the very easy or guessable password, the reactive password checking mechanism will tell the user or the person to change the password immediately. So in the reactive password checking, uh, the password uh, Authentication mechanism will periodically check the weak passwords in the system and if it founds any weak password, it will instruct the user or person to change that password immediately. And the last is the proactive password checking mechanism. So this is the uh, system which we are using today. So all the systems are used the proactive password checking. So in the proactive password checking, before the user choose the password, that will be certain conditions for the passwords. So we have already, you have already faced this type of situation in certain cases. So when we choose the password, the system will ask, uh, ask uh, uh, us to choose the password that is the greater than eight characters then it must include the capital letter it must include the small letter then it must include the number and special characters so this type of proactive password checking mechanism we are using today so in the proactive password checking mechanism before user choose the password it will have certain rules so that the user will follow that rule and it will choose the strong password automatically so these are the uh, four password protection strategies. If we use these four, if we use these four uh, strategies, then our password will be more stronger. Now next is password selection strategy. So how we can select the passwords? So first is we can use the computer generated passwords. So computer generated, as we have discussed in previous slide, the computer generated password will be random in nature so computer automatically generate the password and uh, it will ask a user to use this password for certain time so computer generated passwords are normally very very randomly and the very random password and uh, it will be very difficult for user to remember that password then we can also use the reactive password checking mechanism for the password selection strategy. That means the software uh, of the authentication mechanism will periodically check the system for weak password. If it found any weak password, it will instruct the user to change the password immediately. So this will be the reactive password checking strategy for selection, password selection. And last is for select the password, we can also use the proactive password checking. So in the proactive password checking, the password must uh, must contain certain uh, certain formulas or certain patterns. Mm. So uh, when user choose any password, the system will uh, tell the user to include certain uh, rules. Um, like uh, the password must contain capital letters, must contain uh, small letters, must contain number or must contain uh, special character and the length of the password must be greater than eight characters so this type of password selection strategies can be also used now this will be our last topic that is how to choose the good password so we have certain uh, uh, certain mechanisms or we can say certain topics that we will discuss in how to choose a good password so first is a secure password is when a hacker can't easily guess and can't be cracked using software tools so this type of password will be called as a good password that will be a, a good password and all the uh, the good password must be unique and complex that we already know so do use two for a factor authentication whenever possible so we need to use two factor authentication whenever it is possible so two factor authentication adds another layer of security to any account you may be logged into 
So when using two factor authentication, you can choose two or three types of identification to provide. So most of the secure system uses the two factor authentication as uh, first uh, we will use, we use the password to enter into the system. And uh, in banking environment, the bank, uh, the banking system will send the OTP on your mobile. So to log into a system, we need two type of uh, two type of information first is password and second is uh, OTP so this will be called as a two factor authentication so in the two factor authentication we use the multiple authentication mechanisms then a password or a pin number a tangible item such as a last four digit of credit card in your possession or a mobile device that a code can be sent to so these are the example of two factor authentication so in the first factor we use the password or pin and the second uh, factor we use the last four digit of credit card or uh, we use the mobile phones to send the OTPs. A part of such as a fingerprint or voice print. So we can also use the, we should also use the fingerprint or voice print as a two factor authentication. Then do use a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, symbols and numbers. So all the password must contain the combination of uppercase and lowercase letters and symbols and numbers. So that will be considered as a strong password. Then don't use commonly used passwords such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then word, password, then adjacent keys of keyboard like Q, W, E, R, T, Y, then uh, 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 this type of number 11111 or word like monkey. So this type of uh, password should not be used in authentication system. Then do make sure your user password are at least 8 character long. So all the password must be 8 character long. Then and then that password will be considered as a good password. The more characters and symbols your password contains, the more difficult they are to guess. So we should use uh, more characters and symbols in our password. So it will be very difficult to someone to guess. Then don't use a solitary word in any language. So we should not use any uh, dictionary words because the hackers can uh, perform the dictionary based attack in any language. So if you use the dictionary uh, word then it will be very easy for the hackers to uh, perform to guess your password or to identify your password but if you insist on using a word then misspell it as much as possible or insert a number for later so if you want to use a dictionary word then uh, we need to uh, misspell the word or insert a number for a letter that means we can uh, if uh, in a word, uh, we can use the zero instead of O. So that type of mechanism also can be used. So we can see here the example. If you want to use the phrase I love chocolate, you can change it at, at the rate. We can uh, uh, we can change the I with one, then L O V, then we will uh, convert the E into three. So this type of part, password will be considered as a strong password. So if you want to use the dictionary, uh, word then we need to uh, we need to change the uh, character with another character or we can also you uh, we can also misspell the word then don't use a derivative uh, derivative of your name the name of your family member or the name of pet in addition to name do not use phone numbers addresses birthdays or social security numbers as a password then don't use the same password across multiple websites. If you have multiple uh, email accounts, let's suppose you have a Gmail account and you have a Yahoo account and you have Outlook account, then do not use the same password to multiple accounts. If remembering multiple password is an issue, you can use a password manager such as Norton Identity, Identity Safe. So this is the Norton Identity Safe is a uh, uh, password manager application which will help you to remember the password or store the password then do use abbreviated phrases for passwords you can choose a phrase such as i want to go to england and you can convert this phrase to abbreviation by using the first letter of each word and changing the word to a number so this will be result in following basic password phrase 
I W two G two E. The meaning of this is I want to go to England. So this will this type of abbreviation can be also used as a password. So this will make your password strong and it will be very easy to guess. Then make it even more complex by adding functions, spaces, or symbols. So you can also use percentage I W two G two E and at the rate exclamatory and at the rate so this type of symbols also can be used to make your password strong then don't write your password down so we should not write the password in any case share them with anyone or let uh, anyone see you log into a device so whenever you log in into a device uh, please make sure that no one is around you do change your password regularly we should change our password regularly then do log out of website and devices when you are finished using them so when you have, when you finish your work uh, we need to log out from the website or devices then don't answer yes when prompted to save your password to a particular computer's browser so whenever the browsers identify that you are using the username and password for certain website it will prompt you to save the password so we should not uh, uh, answer the yes when prompted to save our password instead on instead rely on a strong password committed to a memory or store into dependable password management program so we can also use the password management program to uh, to remember the or to store the password securely so not on security stores not on security stores your password securely and fills them in online in encrypted form so this is the tool you can used to store your passwords if you find any difficulty to remember it so this was all about our password management i hope you did understand all the topic that has been discussed in this lecture thank you so much